Hey, welcome to Gun Talk Nation. This Gun Talk Nation is brought to you by Springfield Armory and by Double Star, built for victory. Gun Talk Nation is also brought to you by ATN, offering Smart HD, Ultra HD Thermal, and night vision, rifle scopes, binoculars, range finders, and more. ATN is currently offering free gifts with purchase of Binox 4K and Excite 4K, the Thor 4 and the Thor LT. That's thermal. Thermal. Find your next optic at atncorp.com. It is amazing stuff. They, you know, it just keeps getting better. And I think you and I remember a time when thermal was out of reach of any guy out oh, there. Oh, yeah. What, what was it? Six, seven thousand dollars? Yeah, six to nine thousand, depending on where you bought it from with thermal. Oh, gosh. And now we're getting it, you know, a thousand bucks, get you a nice unit. <laughs> Thor LT is, uh, yeah, it's just over a thousand bucks. Yeah. Um, and they do sell on their website and, um, they actually run specials there. I mean, they're talking about a free gift. So I'm thinking that there's the, you know, multiple different ones. Oh, there's multiple different ones. They actually do, uh, some refurbished models. So, you know, they've run their lifespan, they get them in, they put them on their website, but you can actually find this all through gundelio.com. You go on to gundelio.com. It'll take you to the ATN site and all the deals are right there. Yeah. Um, so today on Gun Talk Nation, I thought we would talk about um, <laughs> product testing and recalls. Oh, the wonderful world of recalls! <laughs> you're you're really springing this on me after yeah. I after so, I waited with bated breath on my Sig Cross, and then all of a sudden I get it recalled, <laughs> so yeah. I have to send it back. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> recalls happen. Um, That's fine. So hey. it's an interesting thing. So. We are obviously, we're in the gun industry. We work with a lot of these companies. I've been to their factories and gotten the tours and all that stuff. So I see how they make them. I see how they do the R&D, the testing, the engineering of it. And then really the product development, even though we're not involved in it, we kind of see that journey. And sometimes I'll hear about a product or even see a product that a year later, two years later, they still haven't released it. And you're like, but I was on the range and I shot it. How? And they're like, yeah, it's not ready yet. And you're like, well, what? I mean, we shot it. Like we shot for like several hours. We shot this, this gun. This should be a thing. Like it's already a thing. He's like, yeah, we won't yeah. release it yet because we don't think it's bulletproof, so to speak. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you look at, so I recently, you know, a month or so ago, you know, went on a factory tour of the SIG Electro Optics. Yeah. And to see the testing that they put behind a lot of their products on the optic side. Now, I haven't been up and seen, you know, what they do to their guns and stuff like that. All I know is they shoot them a lot. Did they you know? Did they have the recoil tester? Yes. That, that, <laughs> and then they so, had drop testers for their red dots. I love how they develop machines that don't make the product. No. They just develop machines that are going to test the product. Okay. Right. And because you think about it, if you... If you're building a rifle scope and you go, we need this to work on anything, even if this, some goofball puts it on a, a 375 H&H, yeah. we don't want it to break when they when they put it on there. Right. And um, so they, like, seriously, I met the lady who sits there, takes, after it comes off the line, she takes the optic that you are going to purchase. Mm -hmm. So every optic that goes out, she takes it, she puts in this special little vice, Closes this window, and all of a sudden, here goes this machine. Start working. Bam, 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 bam. And you're like, that's kind of a funny test. But when you think about it, it's like it's kind of ingenious. And then they – Rather than trying to actually it. put it on a gun and have to right. use ammo and have to have a safe place to shoot right. it and all that stuff. Um, but I, there's a lot that goes into it that I think a lot of folks aren't aware. They're like, well, they just rush – the best thing I've ever heard is them saying, well, they rush this gun to market. They <laughs> rush to beat it out. Beat – you know, someone's name, yeah. a, name a manufacturer. Right. Like, they had this gun in the I, works for a I long time. I haven't seen that to be the case. And um, I, it's really more of I've seen it the opposite way. Mm -hmm. it was kind of what I was just saying is like, I'm amazed at how much they will test it and test it and test right. it. And they go, yeah, it's not quite ready yet. We, we're doing some tweaks on this or that. But what I'm, yes. I, I agree with you, but what I'm saying is from a consumer standpoint and from someone looking from the outside in that doesn't know about this, I think when they hear the word recall, 
they're like, well, they did not do their due diligence right. on this. Right, something's wrong. So we've had a couple recalls uh, recently. Um, the SIG Cross Rifle is recalled. And then also, and it's and, it, and this particular recall is for all SIG Cross Rifles across the board. All of them. And it uh, doesn't um, necessarily mean every single one of them has a problem. Right. They're just saying, you know, we, I don't know, perhaps they manufactured them all the same way. So it could be, there could be an issue. Um, the, then there's the Smith and Wesson, uh, shield easy. Is that the nine? Oh, I should know this. Um, <laughs> pull it up. <laughs> we, I wish we had something in front of us, like a computer that would talk to the internet A device that <laughs> has all the information in the world at that's, your fingertips. That's one of our, that, that's our, our editor's greatest thing. Like that. He told me one time he was like, Cause I asked him a question. He goes, I wish we had a handheld device <laughs> that we could magically look something okay, up. Okay. I got it. <laughs> I got it. Uh, M and P shield, easy pistol safety recall. Okay. okay. Pistols that were manufactured, man, manufactured <laughs> words is tough. Jeez. <laughs> between March 1st of 2020 and October 31st of 2020. Those are the ones that are, and here's the deal. Um, this actually, it's kind of interesting. Uh, um, has identified two, they've identified two pistols. Two. Okay. Individual so out pistols. Of, out of how many? Out of how many that produced? were made, and they are cranking on these. Well, yeah. Um, in this, uh, in these, you know, eight months or so, um, on which the hammers manufactured by a supplier were cracked. In those firearms, the hammer failed to fully engage the sear, causing the round to fire, cycling the slide, and potentially resulting in multiple discharges. That's called full auto. <laughs> without depressing <laughs> the trigger. Hold on a second. Where were these? Where were these two guns? How? Were they in the backwoods of some uh, Virginia, West Virginia area that some guy just said, "I wonder if this would work." <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> he just got a hair up his what if I butt and it? said. I yeah. wonder if this did this and made it fall out. So, uh, yeah, I mean, so basically that's what it is. So if you have a Shield Easy pistol that was manufactured um, between March and October of this year, you probably need to get it checked out and send it back. And usually, the, and, so here's the deal on these recalls. Um, obviously, the companies do not want recalls because it's a huge expense. Right. It messes up the whole momentum and marketing of the of the product launch. Um, it's a big pain in the butt. So right. they, they try to avoid it at all costs. Well, we're talking about two. We're talking about two guns. Yeah, that's which, actually interesting. They actually say we've only had it happen in two guns that we could replicate this. But just to be on the safe side, all of those guns, send them back. Manufactured in that period of time. Wanna, so it's not look every one of them like the SIG Cross. Now, the SIG Cross's problem is a is a trigger and it's a malfunction. Um, and I'm, I, I've never... I have not replicated their issue. Um, so my gun functions beautifully. Yeah, your like your I, gun may I'm in not. I'm love with that gun. <laughs> You're like, I don't want to send it back. I really don't, honestly. Like, I really don't want to send that gun back. But, you know, to prevent an accident, just get it done. And they make it really easy. So you go, I just Googled Sig Cross. Six hour cross recall. It takes you to a website. I, I like this. Actually, I'm on the website. It's, oh. it, it says uh, cross safety recall. What should you do if you own a cross bolt action rifle? Send it in. No, no, this <laughs> no, is what it no. says. Oh, gosh. Stop using and unload your cross rifle immediately. <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty clear. Do not load this gun. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, you know, what's funny is so i took this gun hunting uh, like last week thanksgiving week and you love the gun i love the gun yeah. love the gun i'm gonna i'm gonna continue using it this does not deter me from using it but so before i knew the safety recall even was happening because you sent me this announcing it oh because i'm out in the boonies you're the one who broke the news to me okay good and i was like be careful i was like you've got to be kidding me <laughs> and so What's funny about it is, is after I shot this beautiful buck, I took pictures with the SIG cross rifle in front of it and everything else. So I sent it to my buddy at SIG and he, he responds back. Hey, that looks great. And then another guy at SIG, I don't know if word got around that I had shot this big buck with it. <laughs> another guy says, Hey, about that cross rifle recall. <laughs> 
Well, pictures of big bucks tend to get spread around. They do, and especially if it's a product that I've waited for for all this time. So what the best I can tell you about the problem with the SIG cross rifle, and and I, you know, the first thing I do is I go online and I type in SIG cross re recall, and a video comes up, and it's nothing fancy. Guy does a great job. You guys remember He's, nothing fancy? He was a big deal in the YouTube gun world about yeah. before anybody was. Yeah. He, he really was. He, he and, you know, he did these nice little 45-minute uh, videos. Anyway, I'm and, sorry. And this is the same thing. <laughs> it's a 45-minute wow. video over this gun. So I, you know, kind of skip through and, and try to hit the highlights. And and I got to a point where he goes, so he goes, I usually overlay video, but just to show you what happened in real time, I'm going to let it go. And so they fire off a round, and then he loads another one, and it's a dead trigger. So nothing happens. And he, he, you know, he engages the bolt again, closes it, nothing happens. So he opens the bolt, runs it forward, and then a shot breaks. Okay. And it looked weird. On video, it looked odd. It's like, I don't think he meant for that to go off, but he was pressing the trigger. And he goes, that was really weird. And he goes, I was pressing the trigger, and I got it depressed hard enough that when I let it go, it fired. <laughs> That's not right. No. Uh -uh. So, so so he details it, and it's a trigger deal. So, yes, unload. Do not load. Okay. And and they make it easy. Yeah. And, they, I, th and I think they, you That's another thing. The companies, when they have these recalls, and they don't actually happen that often, um, it seems like we, we get, like, maybe one a year. These two just happen to kind of coincide. But um, they're like, we'll pay for the shipping. We'll fix it, upgrade it. We'll send it back. And it's like, it's a bummer to be without that, that particular gun for a little bit, but. It did, it did what I wanted it to, honestly. <laughs> you already got and, the deer. And, yeah, I already got the deer, but, but, you know, they do make it easy. You go on that website, you fill out your information, they send you a verification, tell you that it's in the, in play, they're working on it, and they'll send you all that you need to know. See, this is a reason why you need to own lots of guns. I'm not going to complain with that. Because if you have to send back your one gun, it's kind of a bummer. It's like yep. a real bummer. But if you've got lots of guns, no worries. <laughs> I'm just saying. But yeah, safety recalls. Uh, you know what? Honestly, I appreciate companies doing it. They're, right. they're you know, they're kind of taking the bull by the horns. And, and us as consumers, we're kind of those bulls that we're like, we, you know, you should have fixed this before it went out. But I think you make a great point. You have seen the backstage look into what goes on to firing him. We were up there filming first person defender at Sig Sauer. Mm -hmm. How many guns, like how many people on the line that they had running just guns? Gun oh, safe. yeah, yeah, yeah. Safety Testing. test. So this is actually super cool. So, and I've been to a bunch of different gun factories. Uh, Sig has one of the more interesting ones is it's a test firing range that is in the middle of the manufacturing floor. Yes. Wait a minute. How cool is that? How does that? that work? Yes. You walk into the test firing range. It's in the middle of the manufacturing floor. And it actually, I want to say that they're able to shoot in three different directions. Yes. So it's you think of an indoor range, you think, okay, yeah, you've got so many lanes or whatever. No, they've got like, whatever, five, six, seven, eight lanes pointing forward. And then there's another uh, set that's pointing to the left and to the right. Right. So they can, what's cool about that is obviously... Efficiency wise, they can walk those guns in, uh, cart them in or whatever, yep. do all the testing, walk right back out on the show, uh, under the manufacturing floor and take care of if there's an issue or whatever. But those guys run through, and, and I mean, I know some of the different companies, they run through hundreds of thousands of rounds a month testing That's these amazing. guns. Good thing they produce ammo. <laughs> and, and before you say, boy, I sure would like to be one of those gun testers. No, you don't. <laughs> Um, because we had a, somebody has to load the mags. Okay. And they've got mag loaders and yeah. stuff. Right. But also most of the time you're function testing it. Yes. You're not, you're not accuracy testing. So it's not like, boy, I just get to shoot all day. You literally pick up the gun and you just pull the trigger. Bang, 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 bang. Okay. Five yep. shots next. Bang, 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 bang. You know how many bad habits they're grooving? Oh, grooving the, you're just yanking the trigger, oh. but the dudes that do it. They have like Popeye forearms. <laughs> yeah. They wear gloves. 
They could they could crush your yes. your head like a like a, a melon overripe cantaloupe. <laughs> so when we were up there at the Sig Optics plant, they were testing a ten millimeter and just function testing it, and they had to fire ten thousand rounds through it. Wow, that's what they were doing. They were on, firing a, on one particular gun, one gun, ten thousand <laughs> rounds, and like there was only like two or three guys doing it. So while one guy was shooting all the mags that the others had jammed. He'd take a break and go back, and they just let, so it was like an assembly line. Mm-hmm. So okay, your turn to shoot. Great, ten millimeter. Boom, boom. boom I boom, know of boom. companies that will, if they if they have like a maybe a new gun that they really need to run a bunch of rounds through. It's not just we're we're running five rounds through yeah. each gun that comes off the line, and they're like we need to really get some round count up. Yeah, they will basically draft everybody at the company like hey. You need to go do your hour of shooting t- today because we need more people yanking yeah. the trigger on this gun. Because it's well, you can't ask someone to do five thousand rounds a day; no. like their their finger would fall off. So that's an interesting point because everybody's going to grip that pistol a little bit different, and mm-hmm. so you get you know a lot of different hands on it. I didn't even think about that. Oh, it's a great way to test. Yeah. Cuz you have all different types of shooters and and hand sizes and grips and all that. Um so one story for you. So talking about a gun that you shoot and then you're like, "Why didn't that come out yet?" Um I hope I'm okay telling this story. Yeah, sure, go for it. Uh no one's listening. <laughs> <laughs> Just me and you. So uh so Mossberg came down uh to film with us several years back. And they brought the Mossberg 590M, or at the time we were just like, "Hey, it's that Mossberg that had yeah. a detachable magazine. This is super cool." And they have these giant magazines for 12 gauge that holds like 20 rounds yeah. of 12. It holds almost a box of yeah. 12 gauge oh, in a de- detachable box magazine. Come on. Um, and we shot it, we filmed with it, we did several videos, and we were like, I want to say it was in the fall. It was probably November, December, and. Uh, it was like ready for shot show. Yeah. The shot show launch. And he's like, yeah, no, on the on the videos, you gotta hold those. You we, couldn't run it. We're not we're not releasing it yet. It's like, why not? He goes, Yeah, it's just not ready. We're like, gun ran great. He goes, Yeah, but our engineers, they're they're pretty stringent about wanting everything to be perfect. So the next year, I'm like, So, uh, Dave, can we release those videos yet? Are those is that gonna be yeah. next shot show? He goes, No, nah, not yet. Still I'm like, not. Well, Wait, so you knew about the detachable magazine for from years. Mossberg for years for before years. it even went? So this is the funny part. I said, all right, wait, oh. what's the deal? What is the problem? Can you tell me? And he says, well, it runs great with everything. But one of the tests that they insist on doing is, I want to say it was 500 rounds of buck and 500 rounds of slug with zero failures. Who's going to be shooting that? Who is good? <laughs> who is, do, what kind of masochist is shooting 500 rounds nope. of slug? And 500 rounds of buck. And buck. There's no, no person out there, but. And I was like, dude, he goes, I know it's ridiculous, I, <laughs> but that's, but that's I our see, parameter. But I see the value in having those parameters that you, you want to reach. That. Well, yeah, like, that's, it's like, it's kind of like a, well, you don't have, it doesn't have to do that. Well, I know no. it doesn't have to. But we're gonna. That's gonna be our our standard. Our standard. So that was kind of one of those stories that, and eventually they released it. And I don't. I haven't well, heard any issues with it. We're so. gonna have one of those same stories from this year on Guns and Gear. <laughs> we get some. We we get, we get a product, and we're yeah. not. We're not gonna name names. We're not gonna do anything like that. But this gun is amazing. It was great. It was amazing. Yeah, and I'm we, like we filmed with it. Bit. We're ready to we're ready to release it. And they're like, fine. yeah, we're still working on some stuff. We want to kind of fine tune some things. We're and like, what's there to fine tune? It was like ready. Yeah. They didn't even, sometimes we'll get guns and they'll say, well, it's sort of a, a pre-production thing. And then you realize, well, maybe it wasn't ready when right. they sent it to us. Um, and this wasn't a pre-production. I want to say it was just done. It was done. It and was done. They're holding on to it. I'm so gonna, I'm not going to say we still have it, but we still have it. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's still here. Someone, someone could own one of one. <laughs> and just, I'm just saying. It, are guns in high demand right now? Do you think we can get a good price? Speaking of that. <laughs> so my aunt, uh-huh. and, and we had talked about this the other day. Love my aunt. Best aunt in the world. Um, not a gun person mm-hmm. at all. 
but the current environment and what they're going through, she's out in New Mexico, so stuff's really tightening down in New Mexico. Yeah. Um, people are losing their minds, all that stuff. Went out last week, bought three guns. For Not herself? For herself. Wow. She bought a shotgun and she bought two pistols. And she bought what? She bought a six hour P365. She bought a Mossberg shotgun and she bought a Ruger uh, LCP. So people listening right now are like, so which gun shop did she go to? Yeah, I know. Well, and she, and <laughs> they, they, they have things in stock. That's, that's <laughs> all they had. Like she bought what they had that she wow. liked and what she, she, what she, she uh, was comfortable running. Cause she did, you know, she kind of took your advice cause she watches our videos and stuff like that. And she's like, well, I went out, I tested the guns. I went to the gun shop. They let me rent them. Nice. She ran Good. through them. And, and that's exactly what we kind of tell people. But the next thing is, as I told her, she's like, I need to find ammo. I need to find it. Well, I send her to gundelio.com. Of course. But where you can trigger the I mean, deals. You can trigger the deals. I'm just saying. I'm t- hey, download it on your phone. <laughs> We've got the app. It's a free app. But I told her, and you would tell her the same thing, it's time to get training. Like, yeah. Because <laughs> it's not a magic uh, talisman that makes b- bad things go away by it's sitting not. In, in a box in a closet. Yep. And, and just because... You know, someone sees you holding it does not necessarily intimidate them. Um, right. I mean, we have, that we've seen countless times, you know, in the news and yeah. everywhere else. Yeah. Uh, and well, and that's why there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of guns and ammo out there because people who never purchased guns just bought three and right. ammo for all of them. Right. <laughs> like, what in the world? And you're looking at it going like, oh, come on, like it's uh Leave some for I mean, pick the rest a, of us. Pick any hobby, right? I mean, how many how many people participate in golf? I mean, Ten million golfers out there. Well, what if all of a sudden there were an extra four million golfers? There yeah. would be no golf balls to no. be had. It's people just, would be breaking down the net at Top Golf, stealing range <laughs> balls. <laughs> I mean, that's the, just a the, fact. The golf balls with the little <laughs> microchips in yeah. them. Yeah, <laughs> at least they know where they went. <laughs> they could find everybody. But th- maybe that's what they're going to start doing to ammo. <laughs> Microchipping don't, ammo. Don't don't throw I'm that out there. I'm telling you, they're going to start <laughs> doing it. So let's, let, we're just going to travel over there for a moment. Um, in case you guys haven't noticed, we may have a different president in January. Um, get we're, your, we're going there? Yeah, I mean, you just you just kind of introduced this idea. So I'm just going <laughs> to, here's your, your public service reminder that, when someone says they're going to punch you in the face, <laughs> take their word for it and believe that they actually do intend to punch you in the face. And man, if you had a bully that said to you tomorrow at school, I'm going to punch you in the face. I, I'm, you, you, I'm going to get a cold. You could stay home, <laughs> but the next day when you come to school, he's going to punch you in the face. Right. Yeah. So you need to get your mind right that like, well, I guess I'm going to get in a fight here. And I need to stand up to this to make it stop. That's a great way to put it. Um, and you, you said or you something. Could lose it in a boating accident. That's exactly stop. what I was. That's stop. what. That's what I was gonna say. Use it. I was fixing to go there. Is that you said that a few weeks ago, and it really stood out to me. Is, is you know, I'm gonna bury him. Why? Right. Why? Cool. You know what Joe Biden say that? Cool. Thank you. Bury him. You've good un- job. You've unarmed yourself. Yeah. Save me the trouble. Like, that's a man. That is a great point, and I hope if you are listening to this, I hope you are are taking these words um, and putting them to use. Uh, stand up, my gosh, stand up. Do not unarm yourself. Yeah, it's 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 not over. It's just you know, okay, we have to stand up and fight a little harder for the next four four years or whatever. Yeah. Um, and we'll do that. Yeah. We're, I mean, I know that a bunch of us are. I hope and- I hope we're not you know <laughs> doing it by ourselves. And in Deer Camp, we had many conversations uh, pl- that leaned all political. And you know what? At the end of the day, we're going to get up, we're going to go to work, and we're going to go about our business. And we're we're not going to spend our time whining right. that we didn't get a trophy, <laughs> that we that you know everybody's just against us and they're oppressing us. We're going to get up, we're going to go to work, we're going to put our big boy pants on. <laughs> That's right. And we're going to make stuff happen. 
Because if you if we don't, who's who's going to do that? Well, and things that you can do as you know, okay, I'm I have I have a job. I know everybody has a job, um, and I don't work in the gun industry, and this is not my my forty hour a week thing. Right. Um, but obviously, I think one thing that's probably not as productive would be trying to convince your distant friends and family on Facebook of anything. No, that's not productive. Um, get involved with your state groups. State groups can do a lot, a lot, lot, lot. That's where a lot of the dumb, bad legislation starts is at the yep. state level. Um, looking at you West coast, if you, you know, get involved in your state groups, um, oh. take people out and educate them, take people out shooting, take people out hunting. Um, people who are scared of guns are generally scared of guns because they don't know anything about guns. That's a fact. Yep. And once they, and, and start them with a 22 or something like that, right? Um, once they get a little trigger time, you do it slow, you do it safe. They go, oh, okay, this is, this is not, it doesn't just jump off the table at me. Right. And this is kind of fun. I get the appeal. Um, start trying to turn that public opinion a little bit. Yep. And especially if somebody you know has just bought their first gun, <laughs> Lord have mercy, let's go shoot that thing. Let me help yeah. you out. Yeah. And, That's an opportunity. And and I know when you're stockpiling ammo right now, man, loan a box of ammo, take them with you, give them a box of ammo, show them, show them the right way. Just right. show them. I mean, get just them, get them started spend the right some way. time. But I think you hit on something really important and it's showing up because when that, when legislatures, they want to know where the votes are going to matter. And by us showing up, mm -hmm. It matters. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I think that some politicians, um, and they're not wrong, they kind of assume no one's paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> and they like it that way. So when you start letting them know, hey, I'm watching you, it's like as a kid, if you know your parents are watching you, you're going to act different than, <laughs> well, yeah. You know, I went upstairs and I know they're downstairs and they yeah. can't even know what I'm <laughs> up to up here, you know? And um, they want it that way. You're right. You're 100% right. They want it that way. But when you're in the same room as them, boy, they start to get uncomfortable and they start saying, well, man, there's a lot more people than I thought that was, that actually cares. Right. They actually care what I'm doing. So that's the, that's the, uh, the soapbox moment for Gun Talk Nation this week. <laughs> um, so recalls, testing, all that stuff. I think it's interesting. Um, I, we've seen the behind the scenes side of it, I guess. And it's not to say that we don't want, it's not good to have recalls. I mean, obviously, um, it's not like, oh, you guys are apologizing for this or that. No, I mean, it's, it's not good. But I guess from what I have seen, I think that these companies are trying to get it right. And sometimes, right. you know, there's some mechanical device. And right. stuff breaks. I mean, and even beyond a recall, you know, well, my gun broke or whatever. Well, yeah, stuff you get, breaks. You get vehicle recalls all the time. Me mechanical things. Yeah. Yeah, they will break. Um, and, and actually, even when it's not a recall, if it's some kind of um, problem with a particular gun, I mean, I find that the manufacturers are like, absolutely, send it back to us. We want to right. make it right. We yeah. want to fix it. Well, they they kind of have to. If if there was, you know, people running companies in the past who were like, ah, whatever, you kind of yeah. you can't hide from that stuff anymore not with anymore. social media and the nope. internet. Nope. They're not going to brush you off. They're going to listen. And even when you're you're... You think they're not listening. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that you don't see. Yeah. So, uh, and if, if you, uh, if you have any weird stuff that's happened with guns, I'd, I'd be interested to hear about it. You oh, can absolutely. email us, uh, info at guntalk.com or comment on, on, on this. If you're watching it on, you know, YouTube or Facebook yeah. or something like that. Um, that's it. I, uh, one last thing. If yeah. you're listening to this for a little while, we are running our gun talk. Thanks giving giveaway thanks giveaway thanks giveaway yeah. i was thinking there's a clever name no, for there it there is a clever name it's thanks giveaway <laughs> and so if you're listening you know before you know christmas and you're watching this go to guntalk.com backslash win and there's a lot of good prizes out there yeah uh, you can sign up to win and then we'll have another one oh yeah coming there's in december another good well, one i guess december is here but right in like a week we'll have a new one starting yep. um and so, yeah, guntalk.com slash win. Um, download the Gundelio app. Yeah, it's you everywhere. You should do that. We send out 
deals and notices and these days stuff can be hard to find. Well, and especially during the Christmas holidays, you know, last second gift ideas is always a good mm-hmm. thing, you know, getting little stuff. Um, we work with a lot of great affiliate partners out there and uh, man, they're running some good specials right now. Absolutely. Cool. Will you guys be safe out there? Get out there and do some shooting. We'll see you next time.